So a lot is going on when it comes to Red Dead Online. There's a lot of things happening surrounding Red Dead Online. The trending hashtag, um, <laughs> it also hitting multiple companies as we've been over. Um, it's also hitting magazines like Forbes magazine. Yeah, I mean, we're covering it and we're covering it well. Um, that's what we've been doing here on the channel. And I thank you guys for the support on those videos, um, but we continue to do these videos just to keep you guys updated with everything that's going on regarding Red Dead Online. Um, in this video, I will be mentioning GTA uh, a few times because there is some news uh, regarding GTA Online um, that can probably, well, will, will probably affect Red Dead Online even further. And that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So we're in a current situation where the community, the Red Dead Online community, you guys watching this, there's a lot going on with you guys. Um, again, I've said it in the last few videos, but everyone has been fantastic. Absolutely amazing. It, it's crazy, you know. I mean, there's so many toxic people out there, we know that. But to see the community come together like it has... It's so good. It, it's so good. I love logging on to YouTube and Twitter every day to just keep updated. And the more I'm seeing, the more it makes me smile. Because whether Rockstar Games actually do something in the end or not, everyone should just be proud of themselves for sticking together and supporting all the YouTubers um, going forward with this hashtag Save Red Dead Online. And that's what you guys are doing for me on my channel um, so I personally thank you guys for the support it absolutely blows me away it really does especially the video the other day I'm talking 25,000 people tuned in for that it blew me away I, I just thought wow what a community we have in Red Dead Online but anyway <laughs> let's get into things guys I don't want to drag that out too long but yeah thank you for the support guys but yeah Rockstar Games are in an absolute shambles at the moment it to be honest guys I think for Red Dead Online, it's now going to get worse before it gets better. Again, yeah, we may not see an update for Red Dead Online to at least the summer. Um, but there's a chance we may not even get that. We may not even get anything to the end of this year. Now, because of the trend in hashtag Save Red Dead Online, maybe they can employ more staff and get Red Dead Online going at the same time. Of them doing other things which we're going to be going over um, normally I wouldn't have done a video on this just yet but we have some news regarding GTA 5 enhanced and expanded we do have some news from an, a, a Rockstar insider um, actually sorry he may not be a Rockstar insider he's just some sort of insider that basically does interviews with Rockstar and stuff like that um, and he's actually leaked out a little bit so again Normally I do videos when it's multiple insiders or, you know, more information regarding what I'm talking about. But there's only this one insider that has revealed what may be happening very soon. And it's still very important to, to know this. And it, the reason why I'm doing it as well, because it makes sense. It's Rockstar Games, this absolutely makes sense. So why, why will Red Dead Online get even worse right now? going forward and then maybe in the future it will become good but right now yeah these guys is this let's just get into it right so first of first of all i'm going to pop up something on screen from this new insider shall we say with some leaks of what's happening coming up for gta so we know the enhanced is meant to be coming out in march we all expect a delay as we do, it's Rockstar Games, it's their thing. Now, here's some information regarding why GTA 5 Enhanced and Expanded will be delayed further. And obviously, if there's a delay on it, all it does is affect Red Dead Online that bit more. So as long as the Enhanced version of GTA is, is delayed, it's only gonna affect Red Dead Online for that much longer. Do you get what I'm saying? So let's get it. So this was just leaked yesterday from a new from an article and it says GTA 5 next gen release may be delayed once again. So we expected this sort of thing to happen because it's a usual thing from Rockstar Games. 
So here's some further news from this same insider. Um, as claimed by a Brazilian data miner researcher, the development of GTA 5 Expanded and Enhanced has been complicated, claiming that at the moment its release is still March, but there are great chances that it will be delayed to April May. So as long as that happens, we know all of the staff that they've claimed is working on all of these projects will still be working on these projects until they are released. So that means there is still no time for them to do Red Dead Online. Yeah, for me, they should just hire more staff. They're a billion dollar company. Just get more staff in. There's a lot of talented people out there and just get them in. <laughs> just, you can cover all of your projects with no hassle. Just get more staff, it's crazy. Anyway, that might not even be what it's about. I mean, it could be anything, but I don't know, but it's ridiculous, isn't it, guys? Come on. So this next um, bit of information sort of tells me it's sort of confirmed that it's delayed, but they've sort of said it in a way without confirming it. But it says the reason for this further delay is reportedly due to the fact that while GTA 5 was initially intended to be simply ported to the next-gen systems with minor improvements, the scope changed quite drastically. So, I mean, is it that hard to do an enhanced version of a game where you only have minor improvements? Okay. Yeah. Not much to say about that one. That is ridiculous. What is exciting, however, is the fact that this potential delay will ultimately be for the benefit of the fans. I can't say that long word, but I'll skip ahead. Since they are doing a readaptation, I think that's how you say that, as I mentioned a while ago, Rockstar Games is preparing three amazing things for GTA Online. I can't say much, but pack your bags. So we can sort of guess what that is. I mean, it is called GTA 5 Expanded. So we are pretty certain we are getting a bigger map uh, map expansions and you know a whole new world added to gta online which sounds amazing don't get me wrong sounds amazing but as long as that's happening red dead online is still left in the dirt now there was a couple of more things i was going to show you regarding gta uh, enhanced and expanded but this ain't a gta video i'm just trying to connect that information with what could happen to red dead online and it don't look great I mean, yeah, they could get more staff and we will be fine, but they haven't done that and they still haven't done that. <laughs> and it's, who knows? I mean, yeah, we may not even get a summer's update for Red Dead Online, but at the same time, Rockstar know what's going on right now with the, the trending hashtag, Save Red Dead Online, but they've also got to try and find it in themselves to tell us GTA 5 and Hearts and Expanded will be further delayed till April May and that's obviously they know that is bad news because one it will disappoint GTA fans um, but also that is also a signal to Red Dead Online players to say you're going to be waiting longer unless they can get the staff in and work start go, get you know get going again with Red Dead Online right now other if they haven't got the staff they're not going to do it let me know your thoughts guys I'll catch you guys next time